Now, let's proceed to the development of science in Asia. Asia is the continent where we belong. And Asia is the biggest continent on earth. And in Asia, all civilizations, all great civilizations, except sa Aztec, Maya, and Inca, ha? Jan galing. All great religions sa Asia din galing. Mention it. Kahit ano, Christianity, from Asia. Judaism, sa Asia din yan. Buddhism, sa Asia din yan. So, if you will study what Asia is, napaka-spiritual, napaka-advanced, at napaka-vast and diverse. Now, the first civilization that we will uh, discuss, apart from the Mesoamericans, uh, are the Indians or India. The Indians creatively develop various ideas and technologies useful in their everyday lives. You know who are the Indians? Because there are two types of Indians we know in this world. Kasi ang mga Europeans, when they arrive in America, hanap kasi nila ang India kasi nandun ang mga spices. Ang problema, they landed in the wrong territory. So nakita nila yung mga Aztec na mga descendants, tinawag nila yung Indians. Yung may mga balahibo sa ulo. Okay, yung mga nakasakay sa horse ba yun? And then kumakain ng mga bisons. Yun ang Indian version sa Amerika. But the real Indians are the one who are from Asia. This is the second most populated country on earth. Nakakita na kayo ng Indiano, yung tinatawag nating Bombay. Okay? The Indians, uh, they contributed their iron. Alam nyo ba, the Indians are regarded for inventing stainless steel. So, magpasalamat tayo sa Indians because they are good in alchemy and they were able to mix all types of alloy and later on, they developed stainless steel. Hindi kinakalawang at sobrang tibay. And up to this time, it's so abundant that we make use of it as knives, spoons, and it's so cheap. And then, long-lasting. And then you have, they have also their, their Ayurveda. This is a system of traditional medicine that is originated in India before 2500 BC. That's 2500 years bago pinanganak si Kristo. Because Indian civilization is the oldest of civilization that we know. Okay? Sobrang tanda na ng civilization nila. And it's still practiced up to this day as a form of alternative medicine. Itong Ayurveda, ito yung herbal, ano ba yun? Parang mga herbalists Lahat ng mga mga damo-damo dyan may equivalent na gamot sa, sa, sa certain sakit. Now, they also discovered some medicinal properties of plants that led to the development of medicines to cure various illnesses. Okay? Because Indians are so creative people. Sa sobrang dami nila, ang dami nilang nadiskubrihan. Kaya nga, Uh, in Europe or even in America, they regard the Indians as parang mga hermit but genius. Sa mga quiz B, mga Indian na bata ang pinapasali. Kasi grabe ang kanilang mathematical and memory, parang photographic memory ability. Matalino talaga mga Indians. Indian astronomer and mathematician Arya Bata Uh, that's between 476 and 550. Uh, in his Aryabhatiya, he introduced a number of trigonometric functions, tables, and techniques, as well as algorithms of algebra. So, uh, parang sa pagkakalam ko, it was the Indians who developed decimal system. Yang 1.25, 1.0, 3 point, basta yung point sa gitna ng isang number, yung decimal, it was introduced by the Indians. So they have this knowledge of decimals and even algorithms of algebra. 
Another Indian, Brahmagupta, he also suggested that gravity was a force of attraction. Imagine, long time ago, before Newton, Indians are already aware about gravitation. The problem is they did not um, su submit or publish in the form of book, kaya masikat yung mga Europeans. He even explained the use of zero as both a placeholder and, as what I mentioned, a decimal digit. Meron pang isang sikat na Indian, si Madhava Sangamagrama. And he's also considered as the founder of mathematical analysis. Ang pinakasikat so far, sa alam ko lang, na mas matalino pa kay Einstein, his name is, but he is a genius and he parang he astonished the british uh, society of science because of his mathematical ability i just forgot his name anyway anyway let's skip that part uh, the susrata samhita describes different sur surgical and other medical procedures famous in ancient india okay uh, please remember this term, Susruta Sabhita. Okay. They develop theories in the configuration of the universe, the spherical self-supporting earth. Okay, long time ago, alam na nila na spherical lang earth. And the year of 360 days with 12 equal parts of 30 days each. So the Indians are much more accurate than the Incas. Sa kanila, 360 days in one year, and that one year is equivalent to 12 equal parts. Sa ngayon, 12 months. And then, in every month, it's equivalent to 30 days. Imagine, they are already aware of the Gregorian calendar. The people of this civilization, according to BIS 1982, uh, these people tried to standardize measurement of length. Standardize means you have to agree what's the best and universal uh, mode of measure. Because if you will look at European style, makabuyong. When you say inch, that is based from the part of the body. Ito yung thumb. Pag iganyan mo yung thumb mo, that's equivalent sa inch. When you say feet, that's the whole length of your foot. Or foot pala, I mean, yung laki ng paa ng tao. When you say yard, yung di pa mo. So, erroneous because all of us have different sizes of foot, different size of inch. But for the Indians, they want it to be standardized. Dapat accepted by all, hindi pa bago-bago. Now, the people of this civilization, balik ako, uh, they have the high degree of accuracy and the Indians designed the first ruler. Okay, ang tawag nila doon is Mohenjo-Daro ruler. Iba pa naman ang accent ng mga Indians. They pronounce it, Mohenjo-Daro ruler. Diba? Parang kinakain yung word. Now, let's proceed to the next civilization. China. China is the world's biggest country in terms of population. China is one of the world's most advanced existing civilization. Up to this time, their civilization existed. Up to this time. Ibig sabihin, napaka-old na tapos nag-continue pa hanggang ngayon. They have their own writing. They have their own language and they develop their own religion. Ano yun? Uh, Confucianism and Taoism. So lahat urig galing sa China. Itong uh, recent time lang sila nangungupia. Pero if you will look at China from the ancient times, lahat sila ang may alam, original. So it's one of the most ancient civilization with substantial contribution in a many area of life, such as medicine. Sa medicine, uh, ano bang alam nyo agad? Acupuncture. Di ba? Sa kanila yan. And then, uh, aside from acupuncture, they are 
uh, famous doon sa yung mag-preserve ng mga damo-damo para ipainom. Astronomy. Chinese are so good in astronomy that they they can even predict not only eclipses but itong mga constellation formation saan magpwesto, alam nila yan. They are so good in science, mathematics, for math, they have their first calculator. Uh, ang tawag doon sa Japanese is Sunuban. But in China, they call it Abacus. It's the the oldest. If you are a Chinese, ang tawag sa Abacus is Sanpan. Actually, I have here an Abacus with me. Daladala ko every time. And if we have time, I will teach you how to use an abacus. Okay? Parang extracurricular na natin yun sa klase. And Chinese are so good also in arts. Nagitan nyo mga Chinese paintings. Chinese architecture. Chinese design. Very unique. Yung mga plato, yung mga painting nila doon, ang gaganda. And also Chinese philosophy, music, and many more. Okay? China is the most parang related country to Filipinos. Parang we can easily relate to them because it is it was believed that at least one fourth of the Filipinos or at least half I do not know the exact most of us have Chinese blood or we are of Chinese descent. Even your mom kabilis, yung nagbigay ng rules and regulations sa uh, online class, she's my wife, she is actually a half Chinese. His father is pure Chinese from Singapore. Totong pangalan ng wife ko is Mei Hong Se. Yan yung toto, nag nagnakaw lang yan ng pangalan dito. Naging Regina. And... Sa part ko din, I have also a Chinese blood from my grandfather, Tan. Ang aking lolo is pure Chinese also. He can even speak Mandarin. Nung namatay siya, hindi na naturo sa amin lahat. Sayang. Anyway, Chinese are known for medicine like medical properties and uses of different plants and animals to cure human illness. Kumakain yan sila ng pagung because naniniwala sila gamot daw sa hika naalala ko noon pinapakain ako ng pagung and then among famous discoveries and inventions the chinese civilization were able to invent compass compass is used to tell direction it always point at north kaya grabe ang chinese as navigators before the europeans they were able to circumnavigate the world based sa claim ng mga itchik. <coughs> paper making. So the first paper is said to be invented in China. And aside from paper, they also invented the first ink. Okay? Gunpowder and printing tools. So imagine all of these materials Sobrang useful up to this time. Ang compass ginagamit sa aeroplano, balko, submarine, and even mga spacecrafts. Paper making, up to this time, we are still using paper kahit nasa computer age na. Gunpowder is used for warfare. Up to this time, may gunpowder pa rin. And many more. Lahat useful, parang eternal ang gamit ng kanilang inventions. Now, They also invented other tools like iron plow. Ginagamit ito sa pagsaka. Yung hinihila ng kalabaw para mabungkal yung lupa. They also invented wheelbarrow, propeller, and others. They developed a design of different models of bridges. Uh, okay, maraming design of bridge. If you can see mga Chinese bridge, yung parang letter, letter C na inverted and invented seismological detector they can even detect earthquakes and develop a dry dock of facility kasi ma gumagawa ng barko ang mga inchik noon pa yung barko nila weird yung parang pakpak ng paniki yung sail uh, they call it as jongkong 
or junks, tawag sa English. Chinese made significant records on supernovas. Meron silang recorded um, parang parang nakasulat sa kanilang libro yung pagsabog ng isang star. Na record pa nila yun. Lunar and solar eclipse, alam na mga inchik din. Even the appearance of comets, may pangalan sila dun. Which were carefully recorded and preserved to understand better the heavenly bodies and their effect to our world. Now, they observed the heavenly bodies to understand weather changes and seasons that may affect their daily activities. And Chinese are using lunar calendar. So unlike the Indian, solar, kasi alam nila ang 360 days, ito naman, lunar ang kanilang basis. That's why they celebrated their new year last February 12. Bakit hindi January 1? Because they counted the movement of the moon. Doon sila masyadong particular. So for the Middle Eastern countries, before the spread of Islam, Okay? Sa Middle East, nandyan na yung mga first, first talaga na civilizations. If you can still remember, dyan galing ang Mesopotamia. Dyan mo mahanap. Nandyan ang two great rivers of civilization. Uh, the Tigris and the Euphrates or Euphrates River. Okay? Nandyan din ang Babylonia. Nandyan din sa Middle East ang sabi nila... Uh, birth of world religion. So, sobrang sikat. And then, ngayon, Middle East <coughs> is being occupied by Muslims. So, with the spread of Islam in the 7th and 8th centuries, a period of Muslim scholarship or what is called Golden Age of Islam, and it lasted until 13th century. So, Simula, nagsimula ang Islam hanggang 13th century, from its birth up to 13th century, masasabi daw nila na it's the golden age of Islam. So ano bang nagawa ng mga Muslims? Aside, <coughs> sa ngayon medyo wala silang contribution, pero yung mga una-unang Muslims are good. Sa ngayon, they, they are known for, alam nyo na, alam nyo na, Pero most of them are good. Ang problema lang kasi sa atin, pinapansin natin yung mga magugulo. Okay? I don't want to talk about religion and politics here, but may mali kasi tayo, pinapansin natin yung magugulo. Yung mga mababait naman na Muslim, hindi natin na-appreciate. So Muslim scientists place greater value on science experiments rather than plain thoughts or experiments. Okay? Um, kung kilala nyo yung nag ng chemistry, isa siyang Muslim. His name is Al-Khwarizmi. Meron namang isa, ang pangalan niya is Jabir Ibn Hayyan. Parang, he, he was believed to be the inventor of algebra or Al-Jabir. A Muslim scientist named Ibn al-Haytham is regarded as the father of optics, yung sa mga mirrors, especially for his empirical proof of the intromission theory of light. And then meron namang mathematician na si Muhammad Musa al-Khwarizmi, yung binanggit ko ba kanina, he is known sa concept of algorithm, will the term algebra is de derived from al-Jabir. Now, we will end uh, dito sa last part, the development of science in Africa. If you have idea what Africa is, <coughs> they said this is the dark continent because uh, mabagal ang kanilang improvement. But do not think Africans are black. May mga white Africans. They are the Egyptians, the Libyans, Yan, mga yan. Mga paputi yan sila. They are Arabs. Now, Africa also contributed to science. Do not underestimate them. Africa is blessed with natural and mineral resources. 
That's why ang mga weird na mga hayop like rhino, giraffe, zebra, lions, nasa Africa mo lang makikita. Because they are blessed. Science also emerged in this part of the globe before the Europeans arrived. Astronomy was famous in African region. The document, uh, the documents show that Africans use three types of calendar. Kakaiba ito. Solar, lunar, and stellar. Stellar means that we base sa mga stars or constellations. Or sometimes they combine the three. Oh, kakaiba. North Africa, that's Egypt, and the Nile Valley imported iron technology from Near East region that enabled them to benefit the developments during Bronze Age until Iron Age. You know what Egypt developed during that time, sa ancient time? They are one of the best countries on earth, one of the best empires on earth. And it was said that Egypt is a superpower. They were able to build the great pyramids. Up to this time, ang pyramid ay isa sa pinakamisteryosong works of man. Sa sobrang hindi ma-decipher yung mystery ng Egypt, akala natin alien na ang gumawa. Sa sobrang hindi maintindihan pa paano. Muslim mathematicians did make several refinements to the number system, such as the introduction of decimal point notation. Okay, the same ito sa isang civilization kanina. And some scholars consider Jabir ibn Hayyan to be the father of chemistry. I think narambol ko yung sinabi ko kanina about Jabir ibn Hayyan. And Ibn Sina pioneered the science of experimental medicine. Actually, he is so famous itong si Abyssina. And he was the first physician to conduct clinical trials. And Ibn Sina also, same tao to ha, two of the most notable works of medicine. Ito yung book na sinulat niya, The Book of Healing and the Canon of Medicine. And up to this time, basis pa rin yun ng modern medicine. And it was used as standard medicinal text in both Muslim and European world during the 17th century. Okay? So, for ancient civilization, uh, ancient Egyptian civilization, nabangit ko a while ago, they are good in four fundamental mathematical operations other than mathematical skills. They have knowledge of basic concepts of algebra and geometry and rules of geometry were developed and used as built rectilinear structures. Ito yung mga nakaslat na mga structures like the pyramid and post of lintenel architectural or architecture of Egypt. Mathematics was also known to be prominent in the life of early people in African continent. Okay? So, do not underestimate the Africans. They really, really uh, outshine the world during the ancient time. Sa present, medyo, medyo down sila because of colonization. So, nagkaroon ng bad impression sa kanila. The Libombo Bone which may have been a tool for multiplication, division, and simple mathematical calculation, or a six-month lunar calendar, is considered to be the oldest known mathematical artifact, dated from 35,000 BC. Always remember, everyone, that the first humans came from Africa. So, since nandun ang flu footprint ng tao, nandun din ang kanyang first invention. And that is counting tool. So, ang tawag doon is sana yung limbob, limbombo bone. The Islamic regions in Africa during the medieval period the Islamic regions in Africa during the medieval period was also benefiting from mathematical learning, which is considered advanced during those times, such as algebra, geometry, 
and trigonometry. Naman, naman, paano nila magawa yung the Great Pyramids of Egypt if you do not have this basic knowledge? Now, Egypt was known to be the center of alchemy. You know what's alchemy? This is the father of what we know today, chemistry. Diyan siya nagmula. Alchemy is a mixture of superstition, witchcraft, and a little of science. Itong alchemy kasi, naniniwala na kaya nilang i-transform ang um, metal into gold. Okay? Para magawa yun, they have to combine all the necessary elements para magawa ang Philosopher's Stone. So, the Philosopher's Stone is an object na I do not know anong itsura nun kasi wala pa nakakita. Pag idikit mo daw sa metal, nagiging gold. Kaya, even Isaac Newton, the British uh, physicists, he is known for physics but in fact, the rest of his life was spent on alchemy. Na baliw siya sa alchemy. Yun yung ginagawa niya everyday. Uh, naubos energy niya dyan. That's why he died as bachelor. Okay? They tried to study human anatomy and pharmacology and they applied important components such as examination, diagnosis and treatment and prognosis for treatment of diseases. So sa medicine, they, ha they follow still up to this time itong steps na to. Examination, meaning it titignan ka and then diagnosis, they will give you uh, what's the prescribed treatment. And a treatment naman, uh, through surgery or whatsoever, and prognosis. So this is, or, or these terms are still used up to this time. Thanks to the Middle Eastern, or African, sorry, African discoveries. So for discussion points, uh, I, will, I will leave it here. Just pause for a while, sa inyong video, and then you answer it. On your own. I will not ask it anymore as a form of quiz. Wala na. Not, uh, do, not pro, uh, do not worry about it. Okay, that's all for our discussion about the historical antecedents of SDS or Science, Technology, and Society. Thank you.